So this is what happened. I'm sitting on a plane. Next to me sits a gentleman who's a stranger to me. And along the course of the conversation, uh, the question comes up about identities, about who we are and what we do and so forth. And so he says, Seventh day what? So I explain, Seventh day is easy to understand. Adventist. So I explain what that is. So he looks at me with this incredulous look and he says, Are you serious? Do you, I, uh, do you really believe that stuff? And so I said, Yeah, I do. I asked him, um, Are you a Christian? Are you a believer? Well, yeah, sort of. He said, and I said, you cannot be a believer in a New Testament sense of the word unless you believe in the second coming of Christ. It just isn't possible. It's there in the word of God, and I trust God implicitly. I mean, everything he says, he has a wonderful track record with me. I know it's going to happen. So he said, um, does, it, uh, does it frighten you that he's coming back? No, quite the contrary. I want to meet my parents again. They, they are laid to rest. And uh, I want to meet my brother who died much too young. Another reason why I long for him to come back is he says, I will make everything new. Now the whole idea of newness, of a second chance, isn't that a wonderful picture? Illness will be gone. Death will be gone. Sorrow will be gone. Everything that belongs to the past with all the scars and the memories, they will be gone. And the future looks good. So I want him to come back. He has promised he will come. Is this important to me? Oh, you better believe it. Very important.